the very fundamentals of our birth is connected to the cycles of the womb. If this energy system witnesses 1008 full moons, which approximately happens in eighty-four years of time, with very little assistance, you can go beyond the cycles of birth and death. The main source of energy for this planet is the sun. And your body is just a piece of the planet. So the sun's influence upon everything that is in the world is big, very big. But the moon, which has no way of emitting energy like the sun, also has a tremendous impact on our systems because of its closeness to the planet. So when we want to understand the ways of the life, the way it's happening to us from outside, we look to the sun. When we want to understand the way life is happening from within, we look to the moon. So influence of the moon upon our systems is undeniable. The very fundamentals of our birth is connected to the cycles of the moon. The cycles of the moon and the natural biological cycles in a feminine body are one hundred percent connected, there's no question about that. So the very source of our birth is connected to the moment of the moon. Because physiologically, our birth and our life is rooted in this in many ways. I would say generally, not always, generally women are far more existential because their body speaks the language of the moon. This keeping of time, we should not misunderstand keeping of time with clocks and watches. They don't know a thing, they're just going mechanically. But the human body knows time in a different way, which is not a mechanical process. Well, though the planetary or the movements of the earth and the moon itself is a mechanical process in some way, the consequence or the impact that it has on our life is not mechanical. It's very alive, its impact is very experientially powerful. In the development of the human energy, in the development of the energy system of a human being, if this energy system witnesses 1008 full moons, which approximately happens in eighty-four years of time, you would have completed seven solar cycles and one thousand and eight lunar cycles. That means your energy system matures to a point where even if you do not know any spiritual process, it matures to a point where it can easily flower. It can happen very easily after death. If your grandfather died after eighty-four, you can be quite sure that he is not coming back. He may not attain to mukti, but he is not coming back, he is into various stages. If he had sadhana, 
If he had some awareness, if he left with some awareness, even a little bit of awareness, for sure he's not coming back. If you just manage to live, to complete seven solar cycles and one thousand and eight lunar cycles, then you can break a certain bond with the earth. Your bond with the planet is broken largely and very easily, with very little assistance, even if you know nothing about anything, with very little assistance, you can go beyond the cycles of birth and death. Because your bond with the planet and the material of the planet, the memory of which you carry within you and the memory of you, the material also carries, you will break that bond. Once this bond is broken, then the work that needs to be done is very simple. If you've ever had an old person in your home of that age, one thing you would notice is, whatever their characteristics were, whatever their significant characteristics of their behavior and normal personal personality characteristics were, you will see somewhere between eighty... eighty-three to eighty-five, these characteristics will change dramatically. Suppose uh, somebody was very grumpy, you will see after eighty-four, eighty-five years of age, suddenly he's a very joyful and nice person or whatever. Some changes, significant changes in that character will happen because the karmic bondage that is holding the person to a certain pattern of behavior will loosen up. This is the reason why we say, if a person dies after eighty-four years of age, after having witnessed, maybe the fool never had the joy of looking at a full moon, but his body has witnessed, maybe his eyes have not, but his physical form has witnessed one thousand and eight moons means, his karmic structure will become loose. Once it's become loose, he cannot find another body immediately. No womb will accept him. That means he'll hang around and we can very easily settle him, just like that. He need not go through another process. Even if he lived an absolutely ignorant life, this is the significance of long life. People always blessed, may you have a long life, not necessarily because you're having fun. Even if it's miserable, have a long life so that we will be rid of you for good. Because once your karmic structure loosens, finding another womb becomes difficult, not impossible, but difficult. So that is a time there will be somebody who will be blasting out these things somewhere, wherever. Even if they don't know any spiritual dimension in their life. So, if you are no good for anything, at least live long enough. Don't do it around me <laughs> If you're miserable, do your misery somewhere and come at eighty-four. <laughs> we would like to live with joyous people. At eighty-four, you're welcome.